Z scores. So a Z score is a measure of how many standard deviations a result is from mean. So for instance, let's say we have a distribution and here's the mean. Let's say you had a Z score of 1.5, all right? So if this is our mean, this is gonna be the mean plus a standard deviation. This is gonna be the mean plus two standard deviations. A Z score of 1.5 means your result is 1.5 standard deviations above the mean, all right? So here's one standard deviation, here's two standard deviations, so your result would be here, okay? If we had a z-score of minus two, that means your result would be two standard deviations below the mean, which correspond here. All right, so the z-score, just how far is your result from the mean? This is the formula we use to calculate it. It's the result, take the mean, divided by the standard deviation. So here's a real practical example. Um, Rob catches a 45 centimetre mulloway and mulloway are normally distributed with a mean of 60 centimetres and a standard deviation of 15. Ian catches a 48 centimetre snapper and snapper are normally distributed with a mean of 38 centimetres and a standard deviation of 8. Who caught the larger fish? So this is what it's useful for, is comparing two different distributions. Because both are, both are normal distributions. We've got the distribution of mulloway, which has a mean of 60. and a standard deviation of uh, 15. All right, mate, it's probably pretty clear from this example, I said I'd mix those numbers up, but we could go uh, 60, 75, 90, and the same this way, 45, 30. So let's do it. The z-score for Mulloway, all right, is going to be his result. He called a 45 centimeter Mulloway. Take the mean, the mean of Mulloway is 60, and then divide it by the standard deviation, which is 15. So we've got the z-score for Mulloway is minus one. The z-score for Snapper is going to be 48. So here's the result. Take the mean, the mean of Snapper is 38, divided by the standard deviation of Snapper, which is eight. So we've got 10 on 8, 1.25. So let's compare these distributions as well. 38, 40, 46, 30, 52. So if we're looking at these distributions, we can see this one has a lot more spread, all right? This one goes sort of from 30 centimetres to 90 centimetres. This one goes from 22 to 52 centimetres. So you might say this has a range of 30 centimetres. This one has a range of 60 centimetres. You know, when we're just looking at those numbers there. Um, and Rob, Rob's fish was bigger. His was 45 centimetres. So you might say, well, he caught the bigger fish. But let's look at what's relatively better. So, Rob, uh, Rob got a 45 centimetre mulloway, which is one standard deviation below the mean. So it's like it's a less than average fish. It's a small one. It's got a z-score of minus one. It's one standard deviation below the mean. Whereas uh, the other guy, Ian, got a snapper that was uh, 48 centimetres long. Okay, so it's, it, his is longer in both regards, sorry. Um, so that's 1.25 standard deviations above the mean. So his is not only is it a larger fish, but it's, it's relatively larger as well. His is in the top uh, 1.25 standard deviations above the mean. This guy is a whole standard deviation below the mean. He's, he's below average. Here, it's a fish that's above average for this species. All right, so it's a good way to compare two different uh, distributions. So yeah, you'll be able to get into those questions there. We'll finish with that. Let's go, I've got work. Yep. Did get an email about that. <laughs>